Welcome to the ADF Insider Essentials series which demonstrates common skills, tips and techniques that you'll require for building an ADF application. In this demonstration you'll see how you can synchronize a UI tree control with detailed data. So let's look at a common example you might see where you have a UI tree control and selecting an item on that tree control should synchronize and show detailed data for the node that you've just selected. So for example we might have a tree control showing a list of countries and selecting one of the nodes where we can see a customer would show the details for that customer. Similarly we might have a tree control showing sales reps and if I select a customer who belongs to a sales rep we want to show the details of that customer. Now you might consider this data model to be a master detail style of data model where you have countries and the customers for that country or employees and the customers for that employees but there's actually a better way to do this. Instead the data model is something as we have shown here where we just have top level view object instances of countries, customers, employees. But the important thing is here that the countries view and the employees view have accessors that allow those view objects to see, if they choose, the customers for that particular view. And there you can see those accessors that are available as part of the employees in the countries view. So let's look at what we're going to do behind the scenes here. What will happen is that when a country is selected and a particular customer in that country is selected, we want to force the iterator that's associated with the customer view to be refreshed. So how do we do this? Well, ADF gives us a feature for the tree control where for each node within the tree control you can define an EL expression which will point to a, an iterator as part of the binding that should be re refreshed whenever you select that node in the tree control. So selecting the customers node within the employees, or the sales rep view will force the refresh of another iterator within that binding. So let's see this in a demonstration. So let's start by creating our page. First we'll create a read-only form which will display the details of the selected customer. Let's choose the attributes we want and press OK. And on the left hand side of the page we'll create the tree control which will show the sales reps or the employees. And at the top level nodes we'll be showing the employee ID and for each employee ID we want to show the customers for that employee. And let's display the customer's first name and their last name. And now using target data source we can define using an expression language the iterator we want refreshed, which in this case is the customer's view iterator, whenever we select that node. And let's do the same for the country's view. Uh, tree control will show the country and underneath the country we will show customers and again first name last name and again let's define that whenever this node is selected we want to refresh the customers view iterator which is the one associated with the customers form on the right hand side of the page and let's set the PPR for the customers view iterator so that that will be automatically refreshed as well and let's test and run that. And here we can see our tree control of countries and we select and we can see the details of that employee. And the same for sales rep. Different data but here we can see we're syncing with the correct customer details. So to summarize, you've seen how a tree control can utilize the accessors that are defined on a view object to define the child nodes on that tree control. And each at each level of that tree control, you can define 
which iterator should be refreshed whenever that node has been selected. For more information, you can go to the OTN website. Thank you very much for listening.